A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. Cuba is facing a severe crisis as the entire nation has been plunged into darkness following the failure of the Antonio Guterres power plant, the largest and most efficient on the island. The electrical grid went offline around midday, leaving approximately 10 million residents without power. In a desperate attempt to conserve energy, the communist-run government has ordered the closure of schools, non-essential industries, and recreational activities, sending most state workers home. President Miguel Diaz-Canel took to social media, vowing that there would be no rest until power is restored. The crisis comes on the heels of ongoing rolling blackouts that have plagued the island in recent weeks, attributed to a combination of deteriorating infrastructure, fuel shortages, and rising demand. Prime Minister Manuel Marrero addressed the nation, blaming the situation on a perfect storm of factors, including the significant fuel shortage that has crippled operations at power plants. The government has also pointed fingers at the U.S. embargo and sanctions, which they claim hinder their ability to acquire necessary fuel and spare parts. The situation has left many Cubans anxious, as commerce in the capital, Havana, came to a standstill, and the hum of privately owned generators filled the air. The blackout, which began late Thursday, saw staggering 1.64 gigawatts go offline during peak hours, about half the total demand at that time. The U.S. Embassy in Havana has warned citizens to remain vigilant and plan accordingly, as reports of cell phone and internet outages have surfaced. While the government is working to restore power, officials have not provided a timeline for when services will be fully restored. The crisis has raised concerns about public order, as prolonged outages could lead to increased unrest among the frustrated populace. With residents already struggling with shortages of food, fuel, and medicine, the government's ability to manage this energy crisis is now under intense scrutiny. As the situation unfolds, many are left wondering how much longer they can endure these challenges in their daily lives. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.